Welcome to this Stegel video demonstrating how you can add your own domain as a custom URL to a personal Google site. That's a site that's been made with either a Gmail account or a personal Google account that's not inside G Suite. We have our Google site here. We have called it Google Sites.support. That's the domain that we're going to use. And we need to, first of all, go to Google Search Console to show Google that we own this domain and have the right to add it to our Google site. The easiest way to find Google Search Console is to put Google Search Console into a Google search and it should be the top result. Once you arrive there, you can start the process of verifying your domain. If you haven't verified a domain before, and this is the first time you're using Google Search Console, you'll see this screen here and you want to add in the domain. So for us, that's going to be Google Sites.support. This may be example.com, for instance, for your domain, example.co.uk, something like that. You don't want to have HTTP on there. You don't want to have any WWWs. You simply need to have your domain. If you've already added domains in the past, then you just need to add a property. Once you've entered your domain, use the continue button. This will check for verification. As you can see here, Google doesn't know that this user account has access to this domain. So we now need to add in this piece of text as a text record, as a domain DNS record. We'll copy that. That gets copied to the clipboard. Now in our example, we're using Google domains as our domain provider. You will probably be using a different domain provider. This is for any DNS provider. And this is the process you need to do. So go over to your domain provider. What you want to do there is you want to add a DNS record. Some domain providers call them host records, zone records. Google domains call it a DNS record. So we're going there. The DNS record we need to add is a TXT record. So in Google domains, we have this custom resource records and we want to add a TXT record there. First of all, you need to give this TXT record a name or a subdomain. Various providers will call this different things. Because it is the top level domain we're trying to verify, we need to use the at symbol in the name. We don't want it to be an A record. We want it to be a TXT record, a text record and we want to paste in the text that we got from Google Search Console as the value or the data for that text record. Then we need to add that text record in to our DNS. As we can see there, this has been added. As you can see, most of them providers will give you a warning telling you that can it take 48 hours for these records to propagate. Once you've added it though, you can certainly give it a try at Google Search Console. Jump back to Google Search Console. We're going to use the Verify button. This will then check to see if that DNS record has been added to your domain. As you can see, it doesn't always happen first time as it takes a while for Google to see these new DNS records. You can try multiple times, but you may just need to wait for that to get propagated across the internet. As you can see, it can't see that right now. So you need to come and check back later. Once your DNS record is successfully propagated across the internet and Google Search Console can see it, you can then verify and you'll get access to that property. If you go to a property, you don't need to do anything further here. Here you will see that there's very little information as it's a new domain to Google Search Console. Now we've verified the domain. Now we can go and add this to our Google site. Zoom back into the Google Sites and we're going to, again, use the, our domain, Google Sites.support. The first step you need to do is you go into Settings. Once you're into Settings, use the Custom URLs option. And there is asking for you to enter in your domain. As you can see, the example it gives, it gives it prefix with a www. If we try and paste in our domain directly, it's going to say it isn't a valid URL. We cannot use a top-level domain. We have to use a subdomain. So we will prefix this with www. You can prefix it with other things, but most people want www. as their custom URL. 
We've got the blue tick mark there. That's because we have verified ownership in Google Search Console. And then we need to assign. That's now assigned and we need to take another step now. We need to go back to our domain provider and add in the records that we need to point this domain at Google Sites. So for us, we're gonna jump back into Google Domains and we now need to add another record. This time we want to add a www record. That's a match up with the www that we prefixed on the domain. And we want this to be a CNAME record this time, CNAME. And this record has to point to ghs.googlehosted.com. ghs.googlehosted.com. Then we can add in that domain. Once that's added in, this has then started the process of mapping the domain to the site. If we tried to do this immediately, if we go and open a new web browser, put in www dot and our domain, hit enter, we can see it doesn't work straight away. It takes a while for A, the DNS records to propagate, and B, Google Sites needs to get an SSL certificate to make your site secure. So while we wait for that to happen, we're going to make it so that we can actually access the website without the WW record as well. So we can access with just the domain. And to do this, we need to redirect the top level domain, sometimes called a naked domain. In Google Domains, Google Domains has tools to do this for you. It's called Synthetic Records. And this allows you to forward the top level domain, the naked domain, on an SSL certificate, both by HTTP and HTTPS through to your www address. Let's demonstrate how to do this exclusively in Google domains. You want the subdomain to be at, again, we're redirecting that top level domain. And we're going to redirect this to our web, web address, our custom URL on the site, which is www.google sites dot support we wanted to go to the https address because google sites are on a secure connection and you want the www in there because that is where we're redirecting to and you don't need a forward slash on the end in google domains we want to make it a permanent redirect we want to forward the path that means if someone puts a page url on the end of the address they will arrive at the right place and also enable ssl which means that if someone types in https and your domain it will then redirect we can go to add this synthetic record and immediately you'll see we'll get a red warning telling us it's not ready straight away again this can take up to 24 hours for dns records to propagate but also Again, it's going to be a secure connection on that redirect, and so it needs to get the SSL certificate too. So once we've added all of these records in, we're ready to go. If you're not using Google Domains, however, there's another approach you can use to redirect that top level, that naked domain. This, this way is you can add another A record. This is an at A record again, it's the top level domain. We want it to be an A record and you can point it to the IP address 174.129.25.170. You can add that DNS record to your DNS records and there that will use a free service called WWWizer that redirects the top level domains to the www address. We're not going to do this here because we're using the synthetic record that Google Domains provides. So after a short period of time, once Google has set everything up at the back end and the DNS records are propagated, you can then go and retry to see if your DNS record is working and that the web address mapping has taken place. So again, we'll go to www.google site support and we'll try that. As you can see, still not working, and we get an error there saying that the connection is closed. This process can take up to 30 minutes, sometimes 60 minutes, to get the SSL certificate working and to get mapped through the domain. So we can come back later and see if this is working. After a short period of time, 
When Google has set everything up at the back end, your site will then be accessible by your custom URL. So in our example, www.googlesites.support. We hope you found this useful and thanks for watching. You can find more new Google Sites videos at stiegel.com.